Hello students. In our previous sessions, we have explained the law of demand and the law of diminishing marginal utility. Through this video, we are going to derive the law of demand using diminishing marginal utility. We know that law of demand explains the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. That is, when price of a product decreases, the consumer will have a tendency to consume more and more units of the commodity. Similarly, when price increases, consumers will be reluctant to buy more units. This inverse relationship can be proved using the law of diminishing marginal utility. We know that as per the law of diminishing marginal utility, as consumption of a commodity increases, the marginal utility from successive unit will diminish. That is, marginal utility of second unit will be definitely less than that of first unit. And in consumer equilibrium analysis of cardinal approach, we have said that a consumer is in equilibrium when price is equal to marginal utility in case of an economic good. Through this video, we are going to link the law of demand with the law of diminishing marginal utility. Now, consider the following utility schedule with the price. We have three variables, units consumed of, the, of a commodity, price of the commodity and marginal utility derived from the commodity. Suppose a consumer is using first unit of the commodity, price of the commodity is 5 and marginal utility derived is 10. Here consumer is getting 10 units utility and paying only 5 units. Therefore, consumer will have a tendency to increase consumption. Automatically, he will increase consumption to second unit. And he need to pay 5 rupees again, but receiving 8 unit utility. This process continues. Suppose we have third unit of consumption, 5 rupees price, 5 unit utility, fourth unit of consumption, 5 unit price, and 3 units utility, fifth unit of consumption, we need to pay 5 and marginal utility is 2. From our previous analysis, we have uh, proved that consumer is in equilibrium at third unit of consumption because at this stage, price is equal to marginal utility. The price paid is equal to the marginal utility derived by the consumer. This is the point of consumer equilibrium and this is the best point with regard to a consumer satisfaction. Now let us assume that price of the commodity is going to decrease from 5 to 3. It means that for all the 5 units consumer need to pay only 3 rupees. Therefore price of the commodity has been decreased from 5 to 3. At this stage the basic equilibrium point was at third unit of consumption. And at this stage, the marginal utility and price can be compared and it can be, it is clear that marginal utility is greater than price. Here, the equilibrium condition is disturbed. It means that marginal utility now is higher than price. Therefore, in order to reach to equilibrium, we have to equate marginal utility is equal to price. That is possible by increase in consumption because in order to equate marginal utility with price, we need to increase consumption, then only the marginal utility will be decreased. Therefore, consumer will be reaching equilibrium at a point of fourth unit of consumption where price is equal to marginal utility. That is, marginal utility is 3 and price is 3. Here, when price of the commodity decreased, consumer is forced to increase consumption in order to maintain consumer equilibrium. 
we have already assumed that the basic purpose of the consumer is to have maximum satisfaction and in order to have maximum satisfaction he will be equating price with marginal utility and here such a point can be identified at fourth unit of consumption it means that consumer is increasing his consumption from 3 to 4 due to decrease in price therefore decrease in price of a commodity leads to increase in quantity demanded of the commodity this is the law of demand a decrease in price leads to increase in quantity demanded of the commodity this is achieved through the law of diminishing marginal utility now let us diagrammatically derive the demand curve from the law of diminishing marginal utility or marginal utility curve in order to derive the law of demand from the law of diminishing marginal utility we need to have two segments in the upper segment x axis and y axis on the x axis we have shown unit consumed and on y axis marginal utility from the product and in the lower segment we are having price and quantity on y axis and x axis respectively and we have a marginal utility curve in the upper segment diminishing marginal utility curve this is downward sloping it shows that when consumption increases consumer is getting lesser and lesser utility from the commodity that means marginal utility goes on diminishing we have a price line here this is the original price line uh, when we have drawn this price line it is possible for us to identify the equilibrium point where price is equal to marginal utility and corresponding to the equilibrium point we are having point M OM is that level of consumption corresponding to point M we can identify a point in the lower segment as Q1 and we can plot the above price in the below segment as well therefore we can draw price here this is price P now in the lower segment we have got one quantity and one price thus we have identified a point corresponding to the equilibrium point E in the lower segment that is point A now suppose price of the commodity is decreasing from PL to P0L0 when price decreases the equilibrium point is shifted to E1 automatically the consumption of the commodity has been increased to M1 corresponding to M1 we can derive a point in the lower segment that is Q2 and we can plot the above price P0 in the lower segment as and we can derive another point point B and by joining the points A and B we can derive the law of demand or demand curve this demand curve DD is downward sloping which shows that when price decreases from P to P0 quantity demanded extends from Q1 to Q2 here it is clear that the shape of the demand curve is similar to that of marginal utility curve that means both the curves are downward sloping and therefore marginal utility curve can sometimes be referred as the demand curve itself this is the derivation of the law of demand or derivation of demand curve from the marginal utility curve or cardinal utility analysis through this analysis Marshall proved that law of demand can easily be derived from the law of diminishing marginal utility.